A welcoming cascade of skyscrapers along the waterfront screams Miami, but it's not. In our effort to escape winter for a long weekend, we searched for sun and affordability, and we found it in an unexpected place, a foreign country. And if you're a budget traveler, you should do what we did. Stop searching for U.S. destinations only. Turns out, international travel can be just as cheap. Just head a little further south like we did, to the country of Panama. We take you there to show you why it's worth visiting and won't break your wallet in this episode of Window Seat. Welcome to Panama a place known for hats and a very large canal, and not necessarily the first place you think of when you think of inexpensive vacations. But for only $400 round trip flights from Denver to Panama City, we wanted to give it a shot. Such a beautiful place, Panama. You don't know it until you come. Now, it's definitely the more touristy area, but you'll want to stay in Costco Viejo, or Old Town. So much history in Costco Viejo. It's easy to see why so many people love it. All the history and vibrancy all combined into one area. Definitely super cool to be here. That history woven into even the newer establishments in town. And this is just the outside of the hotel right here. You take the old and combine it with the new. We stayed at Hotel La Campania, which is part of an old monastery and convent. We like to stay in convents. Yeah, we do. Renovated, but much of the old is still right there. This part of town will cost you a little more to stay in than the business district, but it's still not bad. And our stay was made easier thanks to my fiance Carrie's Chase Sapphire points. We saved a few hundred bucks. Those ruins are scattered throughout Costco Viejo. Many tours are available and they're not too expensive if you want help navigating your way through the history. Now what's really cool around here is they do take the U.S. dollar. So those people coming from America don't have to change currency. As you'd expect, there's plenty of great spots to shop as Carrie was on a mission for a Panama hat. I think they're all the same. Yeah, those are all the same. Right? Yeah, they're exactly yeah. the same. I mean, that's kind of like, right? Let's see, but it's fine. Yeah. It's more hot, yeah. Okay, so maybe I'll get this. I mean, they're all kind of the same, right? Yeah. Like it's on. What? So it only get fits? Yeah, definitely. It's nice. And if you're the type who likes to save money and not break the bank at every meal, I've never seen chips and beer like sold as a package deal. No. That's it's a insane. Idea, Very clever. Eggs are two dollars. There's no shortage of grocery stores, or less than two dollars. And cheap lunch spots. Oh, they have pokeballs. Yeah, this would be good. Oh, here's where they had guacamole. We highly recommend the Mahalo Snack Shack. Great food and a cool vibe. You can also check out the Panama Canal Museum and monument out by the water. 30th of December, they, they got permission officially to do it. And in the 10th of January, they signed the, uh, to the do with the mouth. But if you stay in Costco Viejo, almost everyone has a rooftop with great views during the day and of a sunset. No, it's a very pretty building. Oh wait. And it's Costco Viejo. Yes, it is. So we We had to at least stop by the newly opened Sophie Tell by the water, but we're still very happy with our choice. Cool. It's very cool. If you want a day trip, there's a number of cheap options, from the Monkey Island and other rainforest activities to the Panama Canal. And we'll have a more in-depth episode on the canal coming up in April. But we came to paradise for beach and a little island life, something Panama has no shortage of. But you have to get away from Panama City to do so. Hello, buenos dias. Heading to Contadora. We chose a day trip to Contador Island. For $49 a person each way, you can take the hour and a half ferry ride that only goes once a day. After the time on the Pacific, taking in the beauty, we arrive at the Martha's Vineyard of Panama. Wait, I kind of wish we were staying here for the day. <laughs> now, don't let that moniker and plethora of yachts fool you, or even the planes flying in on the tiny runway. It's affordable on this remote island. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll just take this road, stay right, and we'll see. Thanks. Okay. So right, right, right here. Okay, great. Gracias. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you. Golf carts are available to get around if you're not staying in a hotel. Welcome to Contadora. How are you feeling? The island is small and full of numerous beaches, and the golf carts are enough to get around very easily. But do make sure of some stuff in advance. So the golf cart they gave us is out of gas after about five and a half minutes. Yeah. So now we're going to leave it here in this nice spot at this nice hotel, and we're going to go to the beach. Oh, we have to go give them back. We'll give them back their keys, but it's the beach is on the way definitely needed to check the gas gauge. Admittedly, we didn't plan this part of the trip the best, but the beach is why we're here. I'm confused. I continue <laughs> to be confused yes. at what's going on, but we also didn't plan that well. No, but if you come to Contadora Island, you're gonna need cash. This All the beaches are this very pretty. This actually seems like the nicest one. There's a lot of pretty beaches here. That you don't need a cart for. Yes, just a lot of pretty beaches here. Yeah, we're gonna get a sh of sun today. Yeah. I wonder if we can reserve one of these if we can. Oh, no, probably not because we don't have any cash. <laughs> the cash. With the golf cart with the bro we spent all of our cash on the golf cart with no gas. Yes. Good thing is they took a credit card to provide some shade and made a local friend, at least until I tried to return the golf cart keys. Get to walk all the way back to the hotel and the beach. not through those people's yard, because that's not cool. You don't want to get arrested for trespass in Panama. After figuring things out, the island was amazing. The crystal clear water definitely providing relief from the heat on a beach that gives you the intimacy we saw. The water is really, really cold. Once you get used to it though, it's amazing when it's 90 degrees out. You need this cold to counteract the heat. There's also an abandoned hotel on the island worth checking out. At least if you don't own one of the fancy mansions on the water. It's very pretty, very relaxing. Very nice. Yeah. Now, we didn't stay overnight like many of our ferry mates, but we're very glad we came. That's very pretty. You got that pirate boat right there. And then back to the city where Carrie gives her final thoughts on the trip. Yeah, I think like the time that we picked, the time frame that we did was perfect. Yeah, it's nice. You're glad you came. But yeah, it's really cool to see. Just plan a little better than we did. Check the gas gauge and open your horizons. Maybe that next inexpensive trip you've been planning doesn't have to be domestic. And you'd be surprised how cheap it can be putting that passport to use in a place like Panama. Bye-bye, Panama. We'll see you next time.